If you're like me, you can look around today and it's hard to find joyful people. It's hard to find smiles. It's hard to find happy people. I understand as chaotic as this world is, that it's harder than normal to live that kind of life. And we're seeing where suicide rates going up. We're coming into winter where there's more isolation than there's ever been. But I wanna to talk to you today about the number one way to sustain joy in your life, in your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me today. There's a key to it, and you'll find it in the old hymn, Count Your Blessings. If you were raised in the church, you know the song. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. That's all you gotta do. Count your blessings. You have to live a life of gratitude. Easier said than done, but it's possible. Listen to what the uh, scripture says in 1 Timothy, the sixth chapter. But godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into this world, and it's certain we can carry nothing out. And having food, clothing, and with these things, we should be content. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare. We need to be happy. We need to be content with the simple things in life, with what we have, with our necessities. Think about this. If you owned a car that you're pretty proud of, sitting in your driveway, the neighbors around you have cars that are similar or not as nice, you feel pretty good about your car. You've got some joy in the quality of car that you drive. But what if the neighbors sold their car, upgraded to a nice big luxury car, and every day you walk by and you saw that luxury car and then you look at your car, you're not quite as satisfied, are you? You cannot play the compare game either. You have to be content with what God has given you that will create the kind of joy that we need in our lives. He's promised us that. Let me read a scripture as I close today in Psalm, the 103rd chapter. This is David saying, Praise the Lord my soul, all my inmost beings, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord my soul and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins, heals all your diseases, redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, satisfies your desires with good things so your youth is renewed like the eagles. If you would sit and reflect today, and I encourage you to do that on all that God's given you, all that he has for you, forgiving your sins, healing your diseases, redeeming your life, loving you, satisfying your desires, Focus on that today, and I can assure you that you will live a life of joy that many people will be jealous of. God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.